Hey, in today's video, we're headed to Moonshine, Illinois with the Wabash Valley Jeep Junkies. Hey, welcome to 41 Garage and Grill. If you like Jeeps, going on adventures, and occasionally throwing something on the grill, then this is the place for you, so smash the subscribe right now. Do it, do it, do it. Um, so this video is one from this past summer where we're hanging out with the Wabash Valley Jeep Junkies. They do a run out to Moonshine, Illinois, once or twice a year. So one of the urban legends about this place is, you know, they close at 12.30 promptly, no exceptions. And this legend that goes out there is um, a CEO from a major farming uh, chain store flew in a helicopter to this place, got there after 12.30, and no exceptions, they wouldn't open for him. So... I don't know if it's true or not, but it's it's a good story and it and, uh, adds to the fun and the adventures. So anyways, uh, we hung out with them. Then uh, we went to some other places after that, including a place that took us down memory lane uh, at the very end. Stick around for that and see what that is. So um, here you go. Enjoy the adventure. All right, so the basic routine is this. Go inside here, order, and then come sit out here. Find yourself a seat Dabby. and chow down. So here we go. I got a hot dog and potato salad. It's really, really good. Beat it for 10 grand. It's loaded. It's loaded up. It's got everything left. It works good. And what's the review so far? Two thumbs up. Yeah, it's good. Got some ducks, as you can tell. I'm going to let Pamela add those to her army. So we're done here at uh, Moonshine. Food was great. And we're going to head up to Casey, Illinois see the land of the big stuff. <laughs> At some point she's going to kill me for recording here all the time. All the time. But we're stopping for a quick coffee. So Casey, Illinois, the land of large objects. Here's our pencil, number two pencil on top of it. I'm gonna guess it's about 40 feet, roughly. And then right behind us is a barbershop, uh, barbershop, what do they call that, Pam? Barbershop pole. Barbershop pole, something or another. It's it looks like this right here, only it's this much bigger. Going up in the mailbox. It seems to be the most popular one we've hit so far. Giant mailbox. Maybe they all jumped. So this is the giant mailbox. This is cool! <laughs> oh, look at those cars. cars. Giant bird cage. There's the barber. And the pencil. 
and the coffee shop. Oh, there's the rocking chair. Can you see it where The rocking chair way off in the distance. We still have not found, still have not found the popcorn festival, but <laughs> whatever. I think it's like over that way. Okay, you might start off with this rocking horse. Eventually you'll graduate to this one. Seven foot four inches tall. I'm trying to get Pam to get on that thing, but she just won't do it. Not sure why. Okay, so here's this giant rocking chair. I'm going to say it's three stories tall. What do you think, Pam? Uh, I would, yeah. And typical fashion, we had a flyer that had all the stats on all these different things we're seeing, but we left it in the car. So we're just going to make it up. Uh, but yeah, it's big. You can see it's giant. <clears throat> so from what we were told, the guy that builds all these things, he has a, was it a pipe? pipe company uh, pipeline. pipeline company and then he just uses uh, so recycles true. stuff from jobs to build all these different things that we've looked at uh, like for example this one the, the legs are made out of pipes supposedly the uh, chair and everything's made out of old foam poles mm -hmm. um, so that's a pretty cool part of the story and across the street is probably the most annoying one in the neighborhood it's a big giant wind chime that the kids just won't leave alone. Oh, that's a teeter-totter. And Pam that's just it. found a squirrel. So where's it at over here? Well, we'll go over there. Found a giant oh, teeter-totter. Isn't that what it is? Yeah, looks like it. So oh, we're going to go over there. Let's go. If we, okay, we're going up. I'm going to try to get her reaction when, when it finally teeters. It feels so weird. Why does it feel weird? We're just walking know. up an incline. Oh, before it was kind of bouncy. Oh. How many people do you At any second, the bottom could drop out. Oop, there it goes. Hey. Why aren't you coming down here? I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to leave me out here for dead. So look at like, the Bible verses that he puts on there. They all like, like go perfectly. With, with what the thing is. Okay, we're done in KC. We're gonna head out to another surprise location. <laughs> it's a place we've been to many, many times over the years. And uh, hopefully the rain will be nice enough to us that we can actually go check it out a little bit. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Lincoln Trail Motorsports, just outside of Casey, Illinois. They have dirt bike track. It's a lot different than when we used to be here back in the day, but we've we've spent many summers here with the boys and and just hearing the the youth are out there practicing right now and just hearing them go just bring back a lot of memories. Yep. And even the smells of the race fuel and stuff like that. So this lady here, she was always the one stuck with uh, cleaning the dirt bike uniforms and things like that. And, uh, you did the bikes, I did the uniforms. <laughs> yeah, somehow we managed. So yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool to come out of here, go back to memory lanes. Memories. See, uh, yeah. see the kids out of here zipping around here. Uh -huh. And uh, Look, supposedly... it's, it's still windy, but at least it's not like it's rain, so it's keeping the dirt down. So yeah, it's yeah. Be windy with dirt flying everywhere. Dust. Yeah, yeah dust. tons of dust. Yeah. Dust everywhere. So yeah, that's one good thing about the rain today is when we came out here. The dust was not too bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. The big kids are getting ready to go out next. We'll probably watch them for a few minutes, uh -huh. and then uh, be on the road. You can tell practice is almost over because you can see the parade of dads starting to make their way back to the campers. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> We've walked that walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were those people. Good, good memories. I think we gotta go. Over here. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here and watch these guys take off. So the A riders are getting ready to go. We definitely want to watch them go do a few laps because they know how to get after it. We should have timed how long it took those kids to go around versus these guys.
All right, so back in the day when we used to race here, this was the track we were on over here. Uh, the, they, the track we were just at is a new track. Um, it wasn't here then. This is where we were at. If this rain would let up enough, I'd send the drone out over it. It'd be really cool to see. Uh, but yeah, this, they call this now the classic track. The other one is called the bomber track. So good times, lots of good memories. Okay, we're making our way home and once again, back roads for the win. Um, by far the coolest cover bridge I think I've ever seen. Did it stop raining? No. Oh, dang. I wish it would stop raining so we could fly the drone over this thing. Uh, I gotta figure out a good angle to get to see this thing. But it is humongous and it is very cool. So let's go to the other side. You got to see the sign on the other side. I'm sure it's original from when it was built in 1844. So this is on the other side. I'm sure this is all original stuff. Um, uh, yeah, so this is it, man. This is cool. I don't know. It's a two-story bridge. I wish I, I wish I knew the story behind this one because it's humongous. It actually doesn't look that old. So, um... Anyways, just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to try to get a picture of it from up on the highway looking down on it so you can see what it looks like on the outside. So there you have it. What'd you think of that? What a, what a day, right? What a fun trip it was hanging out with the uh, Wabash Valley Jeep Junkies riding out to Moonshine, Illinois and having a hamburger hanging out with those guys uh, sitting around talking about Jeep stories and just other things. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, give me a big old thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, I would love to have you for future adventures and things we do on the channel. Uh, and until the next time, we'll see ya. Boom! Woo!